Upper House to the Oprah House, which finally came to life today as the TV Queen hosted a star-studded lineup for her Australian shows. Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman are set to take the stage tonight, but this morning's audience didn't miss out on the celebrity intake. Oprah's in the house. And in her words, she was ready for a four-hour love festival. This lucky guy got in early, but really, there's only one way to greet this crowd. Oscar winner Russell Crowe literally walked over from his Sydney home. What's the biggest difference between Australian men and American men? Probably dental care. <laughs> I've seen a lot of great looking Australian men. It was so funny. My, my, when, when my friend Gail and I went camping, she was saying, maybe I'll find a camping man. And I said the other day, maybe you need to find a Aussie man. We'll just look down and there's Russell's good mates, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Look up and Hugh Jackman's at the top of the Opera House sales, practicing his low-key entrance. Rock gods Bon Jovi offered plenty for the local ladies. Because I'm going to the concert tonight in Brisbane, the Bon Jovi concert. He like tapped me on the shoulder and was like, oh, we'll see you tonight. Oh, yeah, righto, okay. While Jay-Z made everyone teary, surprising Canterbury boys high with new computers. The giveaways just kept coming. Can we get a pearl? <laughs> hey, John Boy Jovi sang and he rocked the house with Jay-Z. Giving away a quarter of a million dollars to a cancer victim and his family. Just sensational. Who was with Gail and Cuddle and I got you so proud. But perhaps the biggest gift was her new Aussie ambassadors. So joining the 6,000 locals were 302 of Oprah's ultimate fans. And of those, 200 had never left America before. They will be ambassadors for life. None bigger than the lady herself, who throughout today's shows wore a necklace given to her by Aboriginal elders. It was given to her by uh, Rita's auntie Judy while she was at little room. She shares the Aussie love with her global audience next month. You've got to come to Australia! Ali Donaldson, 10 News. With filming for the second show just underway, we're joined live now from Sydney by Teens Melinda Nusifora. Melinda, how long will Oprah remain in Australia once the show is complete? Well, she's been a very busy woman during her Australian trip, but unfortunately, that's all coming to an end. When she finishes filming this second show, which is going ahead on the stage right behind me, she'll be heading back uh, for a bit of relaxation in Sydney tonight, perhaps even a bit of a celebration. But then the ultimate Australian adventure wraps up tomorrow and her 300 American guests will be flying home. And you've been with the fans all day. They seem like a very excitable bunch. They certainly are. They are on top of the world and I can tell you Bono has just gone on stage behind me and the crowd went wild. We've met people today who have just been in tears. They're so overcome with emotion about being so close to their idol. We've even met a woman with an Oprah tattoo. Now that's dedication. Whether they've had tickets or not, organisers have done their best to accommodate as many people as possible. A huge screen has been set up at the front of the Opera House so people who don't have tickets to the actual filming don't miss out on any of the fun. Thanks so much. Thanks, Melinda. Melinda Nusifora reporting live there from Sydney. Now maintaining the excitement, here's Rob looking ahead to tonight's sport. Thanks very much, Melby.